Hello! <laughs> Hello, good evening! Hello, Milkman! Thank you so much for the hydrate, the posture check, and the caffeinate, um, and the stretch. I did all of that, actually. I did it before I went uh, out here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I am hydrating and caffeinating. Here I have uh, some cold-pressed coffee. I do have some back uh, issues today. Um, so I stretched out, and of course we're fixing our posture right there. There we go. Thank you so much, Milkman. Welcome to the chat, my friend. Welcome to uh, part two of our Sekiro Guide. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Amateur's Guide for Sekiro. Part two, uh, once again, if you guys are looking for a way to finish the game um, and you feel like you're not really that great of a Souls-like pl uh, player like myself, this is the guide for you. If this is a... Uh, if there's a walkthrough that you're looking for for absolute mastery of the game, probably not so much for you. Probably you're probably better at me than the game, at the game. <laughs> but if you just wanna get through the game, uh, this guide is for you, my friend. Uh, but let's get started. This is our uh, part two. We finished off with uh, Genichiro Ashina uh, last night in part one in Ashina Castle, uh, and now we are about to go uh, collect things in order to end the immortality cycle. Uh, but let's get on to it. Uh, first things first, though, we are going to collect uh, the last of the uh, Shinobi tools that we need. We need uh, the fan, which actually, that's a lie, because we'll be getting the fan as we go through the gun fort, which is a little bit later in the game, which is fine because we don't need the fan for anything immediate. Number two, we're going to get Sabi Maru, uh, our poison uh, sword, which is easily and readily available, very close by to where we are right now. So that's going to be a quick uh, and short romp. And last thing we need is the spear, which is in the abandoned, uh, not abandoned, in Ashina Reservoir, which is uh, on our way headed to Mibu Village. 
All right, let's get into it. Okay, but first things first, let's get Sabimaru. Uh, Sabimaru is literally just underneath us, um, right at the antechamber. Uh, we can talk to Emma now. Let's talk to Emma. So they're gonna make us talk to Ishin here very shortly after we speak with Kuro. Let's get this. So instead of leaving Ashina, he has now decided to stay and end the cycle of uh, immortality instead. He wants to sever Alright, we're just exhausting all of the... There we go. Immortal Severance text. Herein describes the means to perform the rite of Immortal Severance. Beyond the Fountainhead Palace, locate the sanctuary and imbibe the tears of the Holy Dragon of the Divine Realm. Alright, so there's a couple of things we need to gather for us to summon um, the means to get to Fountainhead Palace. But before... Oh. Yeah, I, mean, I just have to talk this. So I have to talk to him again. Okay, so we're headed towards the library. Uh, if Kuro could just walk faster than this. Okay, so we gotta talk to Ishin, uh, Ishin Ashina. We're headed there now, opening this up. Uh, so if uh, the game will tell you, follow the incense burners right there, in order to find Ishin. You don't need to do that. All you need to do, so from this window, right, from the sculptor's idol, straight headed out to this window. Just literally turn right and straight. That's it. That's all you need to do. <laughs> None of this fancy stuff. Because when I first played this game, I followed all this incense burners. It's all hokum. You literally just need to go here. There's even a path inside the castle towards here. Which you will take shortly. Look, it's Ishin Ashina. Sake! <laughs> Let's give him a drink. So he's just. Uh, we're skipping through the story here because that's not our purpose in this walkthrough. Our, again, my purpose is for you guys to play this game and enjoy the story for yourself and just have a bit of assistance when it comes to clearing the game itself. Uh, but if you want some explanation, uh, this is just uh, Ishin Ashina telling us where to get the Mortal Blade. The Fushigiri. And this is the path back into Ashina Kocho. Uh, you just avoid these guys. And we're back. <laughs> we're literally back. Which is what I love about this game because everything is interconnected. Sneezing. <laughs> hey, Zen! Thanks for lurking. Thank you, thank you. Oh. 
Okay. We'll found something. Open the library. Meet me there. He's right here. So this is the key to the gun fort. Uh, very important. If you guys are going to into uh, the sunken valley, grab this item right here. Uh, in my first couple of playthroughs, I got lost because I did not have this. So the gun fort shrine key. Very, very important. I'm going to leave this here for a bit so that I can remember to bookmark it later. The key to a shrine deep within the gun fort, the gate behind the shrine's idol, is made to be opened. The sunken valley clan will shoot any stranger who approaches, and the snake eyes guns are particularly feared. This elite group of women are descendants of the ancient Okami clan. Their especially sharp eyes allow them to snipe victims at great range. The Okami clan are people of the Fountainhead Palace. Okay, so this increases our um Sonata to Tomoni Ikirunada Choda Itashibas. This Sakura droplet we got from Lady Cho, Lady Butterfly. So when you're going through here, exhaust all of this dialogue. Read it if you like the floor. Um, but this basically enables us to go into the others. Uh, well, we it gives context. We can go we can go regardless, but it just gives context. Okay. Alright. Now uh, we go back um we go back into the antechamber. We're gonna be grabbing Sabi Maru here. Okay, there we go. Alright, here in the antechamber, we're gonna sneak our way in once again. Assassinate these guys very swiftly. Oh, we woke up. Okay, this is gonna be... As all of them will be alerted now, I think. Yeah, all of them are alerted. <laughs> We're gonna reset real quick. Uh, we tried to rush it. Big problem. These Ashina Elite are very dangerous. You don't want to fight... Uh, you don't want to fight more than one of them at any given time. So these uh, enemies were specifically designed to be snuck up on. Now we go down here. There we go, kill that guy. And we cleared out this area. Uh, later in the game, this area will have a chained ogre that will give a prayer bead, if I remember correctly. It could be a prayer bead, it could be a gourd seed. Uh, don't recall exactly, but in this area is where we'll find Sabi Maru.
There we go. Sabi Maru, one of our shinobi prosthetics. So this is the poison weapon. Go can trigger here. Then we open this door up. And this is the front gate of Ashina Castle. For that, we run here, open this gate. Oh yeah, we need the umbrella as well, I forgot about that. This area here uh, is very important as well. We can dive here later once we have the Mibu breathing technique. Uh, this way, this path here leads to the Serpent Gate. We'll deal with you later. Kill that Ashina Elite. We head here real quick. And this is just us covering all our bases. Uh, we just want to trigger this area here. Actually, let's do it now. There is a spot we need to go here. We need to talk to the Black uh, Guard. So if you guys remember in the last episode... Um, there was, uh, there was a Black Guard that... Uh, the rats were talking about this is where he is also for lore's sake this is where Lord Takeru and Tomoe uh, are resting this is their gravestones Tomoe of the lightning and Lord Takeru Lord Takeru is uh, Kuro's father if I'm not mistaken go ahead and grab these Gashin Sugar. So we're just clearing this area real quick. Get that out of the way. Heal up here because there's a bunch more cannoneers we're going to have to deal with. We'll just grab these goodies as we go along. We gotta be wary of that cannoneer. There's one more here. And then this guy can be approached from this side. He tossed us over. Heal up. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're getting uh, we're getting shoved. There we go, and he's dead. 
and that clears our path towards the black hat black uh it's either his, his name is either black hat or black guard don't exactly recall but we go up here just need to find where to latch onto there it is uh, I need to go up first. Oh. There we go. And we talk to this guy right here. He's a black hat badger. Okay, and we can buy quite a few things from him. The Iron Fortress is the, uh, the umbrella, very important. Anti-air death blow text, very important as well. Uh, this allows us to kill uh, people that jump around in the air. Very uh, strong against the Shichimen warrior that we'll be facing down the line. Um, specific, uh, specifically once we try and get the ceremonial Tanto item. And the Iron Fortress umbrella item... Uh, very important in um, fighting the final boss. So, we don't have money. We're gonna cash out all of our coins. We have three light coin purses. We don't have enough. We have other sources of money. Nope. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right, let's grab what we can. Let's get the anti-air uh, death blow text. So right now we need 1400 to get this iron fortress. Very, very important. So how are we going to get 1600 gold? F those warriors. Hey, Farron, how are ya? Uh, welcome to the Amateur's Guide to Sekiro Part 2. Uh, we're short uh, 1400 gold to get the Iron Fortress, uh, the Umbrella Weapon, Umbrella Prosthetic Shinobi Tool. Uh, so we're just gonna grab uh, some quick gold here, quick cash. Oh. Personally, I, th I still think, I still think that uh, this spot is the best... Uh, when it comes to wait, I think I fucked up. <laughs> when it comes to uh, grabbing gold and experience, also, how are you, Farron? How's your night going? Thanks for hanging out here tonight. Uh, in this uh, little uh, guide that I'm making. Uh, if I ever find... There we go. I think it's the Ashina Castle Gate. Yeah, the Shichimen Warriors, not bad, not bad. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, the Shichimen Warriors are a dick and a half, aren't they? <laughs> They're very annoying to deal with. So we need 1600 gold. Uh, in order to facilitate doing that... Let's get this... Mibu Wealth Balloon. Have you finished Sekiro, uh, Farin? Are you a Sekiro enjoyer as well? Okay, they give roughly 72 gold each time. You think new game he got new game plus seven? Oh my goodness, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> that is rough. New game plus seven is rough. I was struggling in new game plus three. New game plus seven is, uh, I would imagine, extremely rough. Like the HP uh, differential alone. I like stabbing bad people in the neck. Oh yeah, lovely. Same, same. So we're just grabbing uh, the Iron Fortress here real quick. Ugh. 
damage up on uh, the sword skill pretty well, or maybe the parry mechanic just felt easier. Because uh, at, at a certain point, I think maybe New Game Plus 4, you don't really need... Like, you probably maxed out on skill, so you're probably just increasing your damage uh, with all of the experience you're getting. So you do, uh, you do quite a bit of damage, but at the same time, your enemy's HP are massive, and the posture, their posture bars are immense. Because I remember, I remember killing uh, Ishin on New Game Plus 3, and it wasn't, like, in all my runs, it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> that was the most difficult attempt I've ever done. Okay, so we're halfway through there. We're at 800 gold, we need 1600. Also, what's your favorite technique? What is your favorite uh, sword technique? I am a massive fan of uh, Sakura Dance and uh, Floating Passage. And of course, the ever trusty Ichimonji. Mortal Blade's great, but I feel like it uses too much resources. Although, it's what you need if you want to quickly dispatch enemies. Alright, we're 600 gold away. Did I use up all of my Mibu uh, buffs? Let's see. Let's kill this guy and find out. Okay, I guess not. Oh, there it is. Forgot it's at the bottom left. Uh, the additional new game pluses feel much more lenient than other Souls game. My favorite was always one of the monk skills. Can't remember the name. Maybe High Monk. Oh yeah, High Monk. I think so. Yeah, the the Sempo leaping kicks. High Monk. High Monk is like the upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. Right, they're just about done farming for gold here. We're 400 gold away. And this is for us just to facilitate uh, grabbing all of the uh, shinobi weapons early on. There we go. That move can one hit. Can uh, definitely OKO real quick. So make sure you don't get hit by that. Alright, we're roughly 150 gold away from our target. Very quick uh, gold farm here. Nothing really crazy. Just enough for us to get by. Then after this, we're heading to uh, Mibu Village. But on our way there, we're gonna grab... Uh, we're gonna grab the spear. And then we're gonna talk to um, the sculptor and grab all of our shinobi tools. There we go. 1600 gold. A little bit over. Get some spare cash on us. Let's travel back. Uh, we're going to the old grave. What I love about this game, it's not complicated. <laughs> it's very linear. It doesn't want me to do shenanigans that um, are too wacky. Just enough. Just enough shenanigans for me to get by. I'm pretty sure there's a path here that I forgot how to get to. Hold on. I think this is it. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up the path. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think that was it. I just fucked it up. There we go. Okay, there we go. We are grabbing... We are grabbing the final item here. The Iron Fortress. 
All right, and that is uh, the umbrella uh, item for your prosthetic tool. All right. So the next time we meet this guy in Mount Congo, he's gonna give us a tip. <laughs> Okay, so they're talking about Ishin Ashina right now. Once again, we're ru rushing through this, uh, the uh, we're rushing through the text here because we're we're really not concerned about um the story. Again, because I want people to be experiencing the story themselves. Um, it's just that if you're having trouble finding things or getting through the game. Uh, this might be a good guide for you. Uh, if you guys check out... Uh, oh, also, that uh, little bit of farming allowed us to grab this. Uh, Breath of Life Light. Very, very important skill. So we're going to grab that now. Uh, we might grab Double Ichimonji in Ashina Cross very soon as well. Um, we want to make sure that we max out at least one skill. So that once we meet uh, Ishin Ashina and the Serpent... Uh, in the Serpent Temple, uh, he'll give us the Mujin Arts, which is uh, the maxed out art skills. Uh, but for now, for our purposes, we want to we want to grab this. We want to grab Breath of Life Light. Very important. Uh, Shinobi Eyes is very strong as well. Basically, the whole Shinobi Art line very strong. But let's get Breath of Life Light first. All right. So while we do have the tools to uh, increase our arsenal for our prosthetic, uh, well, our shinobi prosthetic skills, um, we're not gonna go to the sculpture just yet. Uh, we are now heading to the abandoned, uh, the Ashina Reservoir. So once again, uh, the Ashina Castle front gate is a hub. You go here, you can get anywhere. We turn left. We open this up. This is not necessary to be opened up, but we'll open that up anyway. Just to give us a, a pathway later. gonna grab these just some quick goodies for upgrades and whatnot then down below here so this is where we started this is where it all started Ashina Reservoir So just a quick check on our prayer bead count right now. Uh, as far as prayer beads are concerned, we are 0 of 4. I believe we are at prayer bead number 3. So this will be the beginning of prayer bead number 4. Uh, we're going to go grab a couple of items here. Right, and there is um, and there is a seven spears of Ashina we need to kill here as well, including uh, including a purple ninja. All right, and this is another very important tool. If I'm not mistaken, this is our spear tool. Yes, Gyobu's Broken Horn, famed horn spear used by Gyobu Masataka Oniwa. A fix to the Shinobi Prosthetic Tool to create a prosthetic tool. The horn contracts to pull enemies in, also capable of stripping crude armor. When the horn was broken during the rebellion, Ishin praised it for its splendid shape, uh, awarding Oniwa with the cross-bladed spear of Shuzen Tamura. We go, and then we grab this. Heavy coin purse, lovely. Oh, there's an item there. All right, let's grab that too. 
Okay. So we have a choice here. We could kill the Seven Spears of Ashina first. Uh, actually, let's do that, actually. Let's do that first. Let's thin out the herd here. Let's reset aggro real quick. Have them think we're not there. Can I not Gatchins here? Should be able to, no? There we go. Alright, we've reset aggro. And the reason why we did this is because I want to be able to assassinate these uh, taro troops. They're a big problem, these guys. Also, for these guys, you want the world in slash. Okay, now it's 1v1, I think. Yeah, we're good to fight this guy. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit. Thanks for the broken posture. There we go. And this guy's dead. Alright. Now we can challenge that seven spears of Ashina guy. But before we do that, we're gonna do something sneaky. Because he's right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right there. So this is where we started. This is where Kuro was being held in the beginning of the game. Oh, okay, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. There we go. Okay, that kind of alerted him what we did there. But we can still get a free stab at him here. All right. One of the seven spears of Ashina, Toshikatsu Yamauchi. Okay, we can't really punish them when say do their thrusts, which makes these guys special a bit. There we go. And that's another prayer bead. This is prayer bead number one. 
um, for set number four, if I'm not mistaken. And we got another prayer bead from these guys. Okay, so that's uh, this area cleared. Now we're gonna fight another um, another purple ninja, internal affairs ninja. Oh, we only have one oil. Okay, fair enough. Flame vent. All right, that's fine. We're fine. Also, we're gonna go see um, another guy here for a mini quest as well. So if you guys want to follow the Orin quest line, talk to this guy. He, uh, he hears the, uh... Jinzaimon Kumano. So he's listening to uh, the melody of uh, Odin of the Water. So there's another Internal Affairs Ninja here. As you can see, he's right there. Lone Shadows, Long Swordsman. Uh, we have the Flame Vent here. Oh, shit. Oh, he killed me. That's fine. Every time he does that big overhead, we can punish him. That's life number one. We toss an oil here real quick. I only have one. <laughs> so we make sure that he burns immediately. Uh, it killed me again. I was not prepared for the Mikiri counter. There we go. And that is him. That is a lone... Swordsman, one of the internal affairs people, Scrap Magnetite, and another prayer bead. So we got two prayer beads in this area. Uh, going towards prayer bead number four. And now, uh, after here, we go through here in the water. We jump up. Grab that. And welcome to the abandoned dungeon. 
Now, there's an enemy right here. It's called the Shichimen Warrior. We can choose to fight him now. We can. We can do that. See, he's right there. And what that gives us is the ceremonial Tanto. Hmm, should I? <laughs> should we fight him? Technically, we have one of the skills that stops him. Uh, that stops him in his tracks. Uh, we have the anti-air uh, skill. Where this one, anti-air death blow. We have this. Um, let's check our inventory. Let's see if we could deal with him right now. We have Divine Confetti 5. Lovely. Uh, do we have... Pacifying Agents? We don't have Pacifying Agents, I don't think. Hold on. If we don't have Pacifying Agents here, we're gonna go back... Uh, well, we're gonna travel right now. Well, since we're headed here, let's might, we might as well travel all the way... Because this fight is very difficult without pacifying agents. So remember that guy we talked at the we talked to the castle? He's here now. He sells stuff. And we can buy pacifying agents from him. Lovely. I only have 400 sen. It's three. Oh, he sells a gourd seed. Oh, we can buy it here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go cash out on some stuff real quick. Okay, we're short a few sen, a few hundred sen. Uh, let's see what we can sell real quick. Uh, yep, wait. 5 times 25. Hold on. Sure. We're never gonna use that. How about this? Okay, there we go. Okay. And then we can buy the Gourd Seed here. So this is our uh, sixth Gourd Seed, I believe. Yeah, that would be Gourd Seed number six. Yeah, and while we're here, let's cash out on all of this. Let's get the loaded spear, Sabimaru, loaded umbre umbrella. As far as upgrades are concerned, we're just short on money. Uh, we could grab any of these later once we have money. Uh, on our way to the long spark. Okay, let's see. Let's attempt the Shichiman Warrior. I have, f I have five Divine Confetti, it's fine. Should be able to do it. Realistically, I'm gonna admit I've never done the Shichiman Warrior uh, first try without the purple umbrella and uh, with more significant HP. But we can try, we'll try this time. Let's see if we can do it. I'll give it three attempts. If I can't do it in three attempts, we'll move on. Also, ah, I forgot about... We could have grabbed this too. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Uh, we'll cash out on one more Gourd Seed from Emma. Right, we are now at six uh, flasks. Maximum is ten. So we're past half of all the flasks that are available in the game. All 
Alright. I guess we put the pacifying agent here. Okay, we have four. Let's put on our divine confetti. And then pick a god and pray. Let's go, let's do this. There we go. Oh. Oh, we didn't Oh, we didn't get it. There we go. Got him. That's one. Okay, uh at this point, just keep on running. You don't want to stop running because he's going to shoot that. Run, don't stop believing. We have one more Divine Confetti here. And then... Uh. Keep dodging these. Just keep dodging these. Get the terror out. Because terror can insta kill you. They don't fuck around with the terror. Oh, okay, okay. Classifying agent. We'll, um. <laughs> we'll break down this fight. If I succeed here, we'll break down this fight immediately. Oh. Oh, ow, ow. Sir. Okay, get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. There we go, and he's dead. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Ceremonial Tanto. Alright. Pause, real quick. Breaking down the Shichimen warrior fight. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, no. I, I probably... I, 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 I surprised myself. I actually know how to play the game. <laughs> anyway, pause real quick. Let's break down the Shichimen warrior fight. Um, Shichi... Shichi men warrior fight. What we need required mandatory uh anti air death blow get a free kill divine confetti not well, I, in a way it's not mandatory but it significantly makes your life easy uh pacifying agents absolutely Hold on. Ooh. Guess we put this down here. Uh, Anti-air death blow, uh, divine confetti, and pacifying agents absolutely a must in this fight. Uh, and of course, uh, attention to dodging his kamehameha and his skull projectiles. Alright, so these are a couple of things that we need to do once um, you're fighting the Shichimen Warrior. Anti-air death blow, uh, keep hitting him. Uh, once you touch him, make sure you're aware of your terror meter as well. If your terror meter is getting high up, immediately take a pacifying agent. Uh, dodge back uh, 
once he's free to hit, hit him with your divine confetti sword. Uh, if he's jumping in the air, chase him and then jump in the air with him and then hit him. That is a free kill in the beginning. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get two. You probably can. I think you can get two uh, free anti-air death blows, but you don't want to bank on that. You want to make sure that you actually kill him uh, in the second phase with just hits. Uh, Divine Confetti should be able to do that for you. Um, and of course, just be aware that when he has that purple aura around him, you are passively increasing your uh, terror meter, and terror can kill you immediately. So you don't want that to happen to you. Anyway, that was the Shichiman Warrior fight. Now we're gonna close this out, and that I uh, that fight gives us the Ceremonial Tanto. The Ceremonial Tanto is one of the best items in the game. It gives you free uh, spirit emblems, especially in a fight, in a long fight, or in a fight where you're gonna need a lot of spirit emblems. You want this. I absolutely have Ceremonial Tanto in my uh, in my quick quick slots all the time especially in very difficult fights. Uh, Dagger with a stark white blade and hilt converts vitality into spirit emblems. So it's a trade-off. HP for spirit emblems. Resting replenishes its charges. Originally, this tanto was used in a ritual offering to the dragon in which an emblem would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift on the fountainhead waters. The blade is inscribed with its true name, Devoted Soul. There you go. And don't worry, don't be too stingy with your divine confetti number one divine confetti is a resource that you can get uh relatively easy there's uh that guy that sells things in um in the uh in the in the world hub in the dilapidated temple he sells that infinitely at some point not right now, but at some point, he'll be selling that infinitely. You're never going to run out of Divine Confetti, number one. Number two, once you upgrade your Flame Vent to a certain point, it's basically a free Divine Confetti, especially once you have Living Force. So I would not skimp out on Divine Confetti if you need it. It is absolutely a renewable resource. So do not... There we go. They gave us a free Pacifying Agent. So do not skimp out on it. Or do not feel uh, the need to hold back. Here lies the vassals of the Ashina clan executed after Great Blaine made their spirits rest. Oh. oh, this is the path to the. Uh, this is the path to. Ooh, to Dojin. Okay, dude, let me go. Let me go, sir. And he'll revive again, right? There you go. There you go, this is Dojun. So we'll need this letter later once we go to oh, once we get to Senpo Temple. And there should be a sculptor's idol here as well. There it is. Oh, and this is the mob. Okay, there's nothing that we can rest here. Uh, actually, travel back uh, to the bottomless hole. All right, we're headed to Mibu Village now. We're two of four prayer beads, and this is the guy that we're talking to earlier in the well. He can still hear the shamisen. Uh, he still hears the shamisen, the mysterious shamisen, and then there will be an old lady here telling us, uh, will you take the plunge? Alright, let's jump down. Alright, we gotta be extra careful here, just watch out, there we go. 
<laughs> so when you jump down there, just keep spamming L2 because you will die if you don't spam L2 at a certain point. This area is relatively straightforward, so there's nothing special that we need to do. Just keep following the path, really. Here's the second uh, Sculptor's Idol. And we just swim through here. This is the Ashina Depths, and here is another fight that we need to pay attention to. This is Shira Fuji, or Shirahagi. There's two of them. Uh, she is one of the Okami clan descendants. Now, if you guys look it up online, this will say that uh, this twin is weak to poison. That's wrong, actually. Um, there was an error in um, one of the bigger websites. I'm not going to say which one. Um, but there's an error in one of the bigger websites wherein they mislabel this person's uh, weakness um, to poison. It's not them. It's their sister that's... Um, weak to poison uh so they they kind of swap that out uh but this uh character in particular is weak to fire or rather fire is effective i wouldn't say weak but it's effective against them so what we'll do we'll have oil ready right and as per usual uh we are going to oil them up and then burn them up after we get a free hit off of them but first we'll loot the area shirahagi there we go shirahagi we don't want to fight them just yet. That's fine. We'll just loot this area real quick. Right. And there's a couple of goodies that we need to grab in this area as well. Um, but for now, we'll go fight Shirahagi. And a good way to fight her is to just sneak up on her. Right, sneak, sneak, sneak. She doesn't notice us, it's fine. There we go, so that's... One HP down. Oil them up. Then lure them here so that her minions don't hit us. Oh, that hit me. Oh, okay, that, I'm dead. <laughs> alright, alright, Shirahagi. Fair enough. Oh, oh, we missed. There we go. Mm, yeah, we're fine. Block. She does she always does that four hit combo. killed us oh oh well too bad so sad all right let's try that again so we, once again one oh i fucked it up i fucked it up let's grab this anyway let's grab these while she's aware we're here oh 
reset the area. It would be nice if we had more oil. We could farm for some oil in Hirata Estate in a bit. Wait, how does she see me? What? I guess we have to use the upper area so that she doesn't detect us. Okay, just slowly grab that first life. There we go, get that burn on her. If you don't have oil, you need to shoot them twice with this. I'm dead. That's fine. No, oh, we're out. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep dying because I'm- Oh! I thought I was uh, alive still. Damn. Do we want to oil? We don't want to oil. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Also, that thing over there is a very uh, good item. I forget if it's a prayer bead or a spirit, or if it's a gourd seed. It's a very good item. Oh, there's oil here, lovely. Uh, we, we, uh, we prayed, we picked a god and prayed for oil. They gave us oil. Ask and ye shall receive, apparently. All right, third time's a charm. We'll go kill Shirahagi here. There's another guy over there. Want to be out of that person's range. Her posture is almost broken. Just a couple more, a couple more uh, perfect deflex here. There we go. And that's Shirahagi. Use fire against her. And that's prayer bead number three for number four. For set number four. Alright. Uh, so we go through here. We climb up. There is monkey sake down here. And there's a monkey as a monkey graveyard here. Give me this. Yo, what what up? Give me that. There we go. Monkey booze. Okay, we need to get up onto that uh statue's head. Uh I forget how the path goes. Uh, so this trickling water, uh, this is coming straight from the Fountainhead Palace. 
I do need to go up to the Buddha's head though. Oh, there it is. There's the path. Oh, hold the phone. There it is. A little gunpowder. We climb up here. And that is prayer bead number four. So that's yet again another prayer bead. So if you want to go up here, there is a wall section here. But we are now headed into Mibu village. Just want to double check. I'm pretty sure this is going back to where Shirahagi is. We'll know because her dead body is going to be there. Oh, never mind. Or we can't go up, I guess. Yeah, sure, Hagi's dead body's right there. Okay, so this is the path. Also, you can follow these uh, bloody footprints. Seems to be like the footprints of a giant monkey. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but let's go up here. And then the moment we see the next um, sculptor's idol, we're going to cash out. And once again, this guy's here. How did he get passed through Shirahagi? Okay, so the reason why I didn't do that is because I want him to... I want him to die finding um, Oren. So that's a mini quest that we just did there. Oh, like rather avoided. But right now, welcome to uh, the hidden forest. Now there's uh, quite a bit of goodies down here. Uh, let me just double check my notes if there is something that we need to see here. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. Okay, yeah, there's nothing that we need to grab here. Okay, we can press on. We'll continue on. There is a headless underneath uh, this forest, though, but we're not going to go and find it. Now, the headless, they're a difficult fight. They're more of an annoying fight, really. Not really required to get any of the endings. Oh, chickens. Let's grab that, though. That's an item. Ah. Give me this, give me this, this, okay. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I need an extraction team. There we go. Alright, so there's mist all over this place. Uh, we need... Actually, hold on. Do I need to... Hmm... We're gonna fight another drunkard, uh... 
uh, archetype here, enemy. So I'm, I'm kind of considering... Ah, oh, come on. Let me get up there. You don't have to do this when you're- well, uh, if you guys are going through here. This is just my stubbornness, because you can get up there. I've done it so many times. Especially this is a path you kind of want to follow. If you are lost in this area. Oh my goodness, I'm not getting up there. Come on. There we go. Adamantite scrap. So once again, you don't need to do what I did. That was just me being stubborn. You do need to go over on this branch though. Oh, you can grab the items here real quick. There we go. Once you're up here, you're golden. All you need to do is grab this spinning shuriken. So there's gonna be another fight here. Um, I'll pellet just to make things safe for me. Yo, stop. Calm down. Alright, so this guy, this glutton enemy will be surrounded by monkeys. What you can do is you can assassinate all of them one by one. Using not that, but your shuriken. There we go. And we can use flame bent here as well. We have one oil. So just like uh, all the other mini bosses in the game we could use gachin sugar here all right he doesn't really see us it seems like he sees us but he doesn't really and then we can get a free execute off of him where's this guy there is Alright. Tokujuro the Glutton. And the great thing about these enemies is that you can use the whole map against them. Mm. I say that as I dash in. Keep burning this guy and he should go down soon because he's not regaining posture while he's being burned. Just hit and run using your whirlwind slash. He'll take uh, water breaks every now and then. Okay, dude. We probably have an antidote, right? Antidote powder. There we go. Okay, I traded. Very unwise trade. He usually does uh, two big swings. We can just hit and run. Because you don't want to trade with this guy. Mm. 
He's almost dead too. Holy shit. And that was Tokujuro, the glutton. Unrefined sake. And another prayer bead. Oh! I forgot to cash out on the prayer bead. We already have prayer bead number four. And then some. So that'll be prayer bead number four. So I guess in the next... Um, in the next... Uh, statue we find. In the next idol we find. We're going to cash out on that. So there's a bit of a tricky jump. Make sure you jump and press X or square. Immediately as soon as you land on the wall. So that you don't miss this shimmy. Grab this. There should be a place where you could grapple. Right there. Grapple once more. Grapple again. And just follow... Uh, follow this tree line. Onto this house, and you'll find the mystic, uh, the mist noble. You'll find the mist noble, one of the hardest bosses in the game. Absolutely bonkers. I'm a liar. You go through the hole here. So, this is one of the residents of Fountainhead Palace. You can just do this, get one kill. And these guys don't really fight. And that is your Mist Noble. Lump of Grave Wax. And that lifts all of the uh, mist in this area. Grab some goodies here. And then if you want to grab some of the goodies out there, just go back out. Anything you missed, come back for it. Without the need to fend yourself against uh dead dudes so there are some nice goodies as you travel back along this path but we are now entering Mibu village and we'll be uh, awarded with yet again another prayer bead very soon and one of the major bosses of the game as well The headless should still be there, though. What the... Okay. We're not gonna deal with the headless. Heavy coin purse, and that grave. Oil here. If you're lost, just follow the lanterns. The lanterns will lead you to the path of your destiny. There's another lantern there. Lantern here. And then we'll be jumping down into Mibu Village. So in this area, there's another, there's a internal affairs uh, ninja down there. Okay, that ninja is aware that we're here. We're not gonna deal with him. But this is yet again another spot for farming if you want, because you can sneak up on that internal affairs ninja and kill him for free. Uh, it is a bit tricky though. You have to have suppressed sound. Well, you don't have to, but you really need to be careful. And it's almost RNG if he notices you or if he notices you or not. Mottled purple gourd. This is for terror resistance. Oh, we need this treasure carp scale. We actually need this. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. 
Oh, I don't have enough. Wait, 500, right? Purchase. Give me this. Uh, in this one, uh, this is just sake to give to either, uh, I guess, Ishin or the monk or the sculptor. Let's try and kill this guy real quick. So one surefire way to kill him is pop in one Gachin sugar, slowly creep up on this guy, because this guy can detect you from a mile away. Even with Gachins, it's actually un unreasonable sometimes. But killing him here loots Scrap Magnetite and a hefty amount of uh, of XP. We'll have one more Gachin here, so we'll use it up until it disappears. Because we could get realistically two two assassinations from him with one gachin sugar so if you're not careful he can detect you from this far away there we go get that for free you have uh, free four levels now Oh yeah, we are going to have to cash out on our prayer beads. So this is prayer bead number four, fourth prayer necklace. Uh, prayer bead necklace befits the strong. Only those who have mastered the Ashina blade may set foot inside the castle dojo. Ishin will often stop by unannounced just to keep the students on their toes. That is the fourth prayer bead. We are one of four in prayer bead number five. Let's acquire some skills. Shinobi eyes would be really great here, but um, it would behoove us to get double uh, Ichimonji because we want to get as close to uh, Ashina Cross as possible because this is the easiest path to get a maxed out line only because we want the Mujin uh, scroll once we're at uh, the Serpent Temple. So we're going to grab uh, Ichimonji double here right now. And then if we can afford one. Not really, I guess. Alright, well, that fair enough. So what we'll do, uh, we'll try to clear out as many opponents here as possible. Typically, I don't fight these guys because, well, they're a pain in the ass to, do, to kill. And you don't really need to. Also, I forgot to grab... Um, I forgot to grab uh Oh, these guys are endless, aren't they? Yeah, these guys are endless. You know what, we'll grab a uh, floating passage once we get to the next, um, once we get to the next, uh, Sculptor's Idol. We can get some HP off of killing them. Get some XP. Kill everybody in Mibu Village. Everybody in Mibu Village is dead. Mm. 
then there should be another prayer bead here that we can access. You guys hurt you guys hurt okay maybe don't try and kill them that way oh my I'm stuck Oh god, terror, not terror. Don't terror me, please. We've killed so many villagers. <laughs> yes, they're never ending. I think I revive. But we need this. Right here, another gourd seed. And there's a dude inside a hut. Oh. Okay. Don't stab me, ma'am. Uh, there's a dude inside the hut here that we can talk to. Uh, you don't really need to talk to him, to be honest. Chicken! We're just grabbing goodies here. Pine resin ember. Okay, these taro troops. Just kind of avoid them. We'll be fine. We can head into the water as well. There should be an enemy here. Lots of carps, but... Ow. Yeah, there's a lot of carp enemies here. Uh, Red-eyed carps, no less. Carps on. Yeah, these guys don't give us treasured carp scales. Only like the golden carps do. Alright, we could fight Odin here, but I want to get floating passage real quick. So we will have to uh, escape. Rest up. Uh, we can acquire another skill here, actually. Uh, no, maybe. Maybe. You know what we'll do? This is what we'll do. We'll travel to. 
We'll travel to Hirata Estate. Grab a uh, floating passage real quick. Uh, kill the purple ninja twice just to get us to level 3. There we go. Yes, I have carp scales for you, sir. We're getting a floating passage. Alright. Uh, we could get the withered red gourd here as well. So if you buy enough items from this guy, he turns into a carp. Then he gives you the truly precious bait uh, in order to kill... Um, the great carp up in Fountainhead Palace. Uh, we're gonna go to the Lapidate Temple real quick. Uh, we might want to cash in on some upgrades on our tools real quick. It would also behoove us to get some snap seeds as well for the next uh, fights that we're gonna be doing dealing with. Oh, we don't have snap seeds yet. Okay, fair enough. We could buy snap seeds from uh, the other vendor. <laughs> okay, we're gonna upgrade the spring load of flame vent. Oh, we need long spark. Is it just cash? No, we need this. But this is the um, this is the Basho fan, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the fan. Yeah, I think we only need the fan now and um, the whistle, the fan and the whistle, which are both uh, story uh, story items. So we need to get ahead in the game. Then we'll go visit Emma real quick as well. For the seventh gourd seed that we have. So we're making a lot of progress when it comes to our gourd seeds. Alright, that is our seventh gourd seed. That's our seventh gourd seed. Uh, what else do we need to take care of? Right, uh, we need to go to... Uh, Mibu Village real quick. Kill uh, the purple ninja twice. Get another level so that we could um, grab Shinobi Eyes. Just do it real quick so that we are back at zero when it comes to our experience. Or maybe even once, depending on how much this guy gives us. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we only need to come once. No, let's acquire skill. So at this point, we're gonna grab Shinobi Eyes. And we're very close to maxing out the Shinobi Arts, but we'll definitely max out Ashina Cross next, uh, just for us to grab the Mujin uh, skill tree. And then we can start um, filling out the rest of these as we go along. Like, all of these are really good, to be honest. None of these are bad. So it doesn't matter which order we get these, as long as we keep on getting them as we go along. This one is not the best. I would not even consider this. I've, I don't like using it, but 
this is the closest path for us to get um, Ashina Cro uh, not Ashina Cross, the Mujin skill line. Anyway, this is the Orin fight next. So we're gonna travel here. No, not here. Uh, we're gonna prepare for the Orin battle. The Orin battle is mostly us deflecting and making sure that our posture is up. So Gokan Sugar is not bad here. We don't need it, but it's really good. Uh, and as far as punish is concerned, even though it's really good for me to punish with Floating Passage, I think uh, Whirlwind Slash is good enough. So, preparation. Remove this, remove this. Also, how many Snapseeds do I have? I have five Snapseeds. <laughs> Fine. Good enough. Um, Gokan Sugar, let's pop that in. And as far as prosthetic tools are concerned, uh, firecrackers are nice if you if I need to buy time. But other than that, there's not really much that we need. Flame vent. Is okay too. But we don't really need it. And we're gonna talk to this guy again. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh no. So the next fight, once again, this is uh, Orin of the Water fight. If you want to review, uh, let's review it real quick. And this is a very important fight as well because uh, this lady gives us uh, another uh, execution technique that heals our HP and posture. Orin of the Water. Preparation. Optional. Again, we don't need it. Go can sugar. Because we're going to be deflecting most uh, in this fight more than us attacking. Because she attacks uh, very quickly in rapid succession. Very similar to uh, Lady Butterfly. So Gokan Sugar is very, very good here because Gokan Sugar uh, increases our posture or rather helps us not lose any posture damage. And this will just be deflection, like mastery of deflection in this fight. So optional Gokan Sugar, if uh, in New Game Plus, if you have uh, Divine Confetti helps, not mandatory because you're not going to be hitting as often as you think you will be. So it's not mandatory. I've In the many times that I've tried to kill Odin, uh... It's always easier to just wait for her to kill herself. You can absolutely be super aggressive with the Odin fight, but it's a lot better if you just uh, just let her kill herself, basically. Right, here's Odin. You have to talk to her each time. She's waiting for somebody. Okay. No, I, for oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, she only does sweeping attacks. So you don't need to worry about um, weird punishes. Oh, there's a grab though. There's a grab. <laughs> she does have a grab. Go Goomba Stomper. Punish her there. There we go. That's number one. You can go can sugar here again. And heal up. And you'll have advantage. Because it's going to be pretty much more of the same.
Goomba Stomp, deflect and Goomba Stomp. That's all you need to do. And that's it. That is Odin of the Water. It's a lesson in deflection. So instead of Lord Sakuza, you brought her Jinzaimon right here. Oh, yeah. And that is yet again another prayer bead and a bread of life shadow. Oh, you missed it. Hey, uh, Cheer, how are ya? What did you miss? <laughs> oh, you were, you were uh, taking notes. Are you gonna play this game? Uh, but that was Odin of the Water. Uh, next on deck is another major boss, uh, which will also give us the, Miz, uh, the Mibu uh, swimming breathing technique. And this will be the Corrupted Monk. But before we do that, we're gonna clear out the area, grab some goodies. Also, how are you, Cher? How's your night been? How are things? I started stream late today. I woke up, I had to nap. I got here right when you said, and that was how, ah. Well, I post this on YouTube. <laughs> so if you're really, if you're really that interested. Uh, you can go watch this on YouTube. There's a treasure here. Want to grab it real quick. No, I lived it through me a lot. Oh. I'm glad, I'm glad. If if you're genuinely enjoying these, I'm, I'm very glad. I'm doing okay. I slept... I slept when I got home from work. Um, just resting. Then after this stream, I'm gonna upload this video and uh, make the footnotes for this for the guide. And then I hope everybody likes it and everybody enjoys my guide. <laughs> and everybody lives happily ever after. Uh, we're going through the water here real quick. I'm just trying to see if there's anything we missed. Nothing really. We we'll go back up there. There we go. So this is the same path from earlier. There's a bunch of goodies we need to grab here. So we sneak around. We're gonna kill this big dude. That's so cool. Oh, thank you. Get a stealth kill off of this guy. And then we're gonna crawl underneath this thing. So we're gonna look for the hidden door. There's a hidden door here somewhere. Oh, there it is. See? There's a whole outprint of a dude. Can't miss it. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Uh, I think if you give him uh, the divine water from the Fountainhead Palace, uh, he turns into a carp or some shit. <laughs> I forget. We could do that in this uh, walkthrough. We can go back to him. But there are some goodies to be had in this area real quick. There's that. And then if we go up here... There's this whole shrine full of goodies. Another prayer bead, huh? And that is prayer bead number three, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, it could be prayer bead number two for set number five. 
Also, for anybody watching this uh, live stream, specifically Cher, because I'm sure Cher is here as well. Um, I apologize if I'm speaking more in terms of like not really here, more of like me speaking to an audience that's not really here. Because again, the, the main purpose of these streams right now is to create the guide for um, for YouTube. So I apologize if I don't seem very streamer-like, <laughs> if that makes sense. But then again, I think that this is my normal. So I guess that's not really a big difference. But if that was the case, I apologize. So we're going to reset here real quick. Uh, next fight will be the Corrupted Monk. Uh, I forget what her name is. I think Lady Yao or some shit like that. Um, but for this fight, uh, we're gonna need... Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. We're gonna need snap seeds. We can only hold five at a time anyway. Well, we can hold ten, but we only need five for this fight. Uh, -pa -pa! Handy dandy notebook. Okay, for the monk fight. Uh... The Corrupted Monk, I believe, is... Is it the Corrupted Monk? Something something Monk. Ghost Monk. <laughs> we need five snap... Optional, because we don't need this. Five snap seeds. Recognizing the five hit whirlwind combo. And the overhead. Alright, so for this fight, we need five snap seeds and recognizing the five hit Roman combo and over it. So, once again, this is going to be us understanding the fight, uh, but in order to help us uh, pack in some five uh, snap seeds, snap seeds you can buy a, an infinite amount in purchasable uh, in the abandoned dungeon mob seller so there is a mob seller right before um we head into the abandoned dungeon you can buy all the snap seeds you want from there if you're ever gonna go against this fight and you ran out of snap seeds right now i only have five so if i fuck up the first run and i need to purchase more we're gonna go visit that dude but for the purposes of this uh first run we're only gonna use five all right let's get back into the game Okay, uh, so we have our five snap seeds. I have my gourd. We don't really need anything else here. Uh, once again, firecrackers are good only to buy you time if you need to heal. But other than that, we're pretty much set here. So we're gonna go fight the monk now. Pretty sure it's called the corrupted monk, if I'm not mistaken. We can review the fight afterwards. Right, load up your snap seeds here. Corrupted monk, yeah, there we go. And then use it up. Use it immediately, five times. Big advantage. Alright. This is the five hit combo. And you can dash the last one. And you can make it counter that, but I fucked up. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay, alright, I died, I died. You can also add Divine Confetti, I forgot. Divine Confetti is also very useful in this fight.
Last one you can dodge, punish, run away. That's the overhead. No one to swing. No one to dodge the left or to the right. Mikiri counter that. Punish immediately. You can always run away from her. She doesn't really chase you that uh, well. Dodge. Goomba Stomp if they're sweeping. Or if you can't dodge it, you can just always run away. Always use the terrain to your advantage. If you are in a wide terrain, you're in an advantage there because you can always run. Mm. So again, that's another example of uh, using the firecrackers to heal up. Once again, Mikiri counter when you can. Oh. Actually, this fight is taking too long. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna load up divine confetti as well, because we can. Because <laughs> we can. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Punish. Boomba Stomp. out Hell it oh she killed me okay fair enough <laughs> she killed me all right so we're gonna go to the place where they sell snap seeds so the big problem with this fight is that she's an apparition so you don't really deal as much damage as she should be dealing also I only have 114 gold uh, we could farm some gold. We don't have to. We'll go to this guy here. Abandoned dungeon entrance. So this guy here, uh, they sell the snap seeds. Snap seeds sell for like 80 gold, if I'm not mistaken. 80 sen. So it shouldn't be too expensive. Uh... If you, especially if you have light coin purses. Purchase snap seeds. Oh shit! It doesn't have it. What? There's no snap seeds here. Uh, do you feel better playing as a sensei? Uh, it's hard sometimes because I need to like talk while playing. Uh, the dilapidated temple guy should have it too. Let's check. Um, I can, I can, I could definitely play better if I'm just focused, <laughs> without having to like uh, present things and just actually execute on it. Oh, they don't have snap seeds either. Oh, it's not at the point where we could use snap seeds. Oh well. Um, I guess we're doing this fight without snap seeds. <laughs> But you can definitely use snap seeds there. Um, that's the point. So without snap seeds, we're gonna relegate into using uh, divine confetti instead, which is fine. We don't really need the snap seed. But I might shut up a bit more because uh, I might be a bit more focused. Okay, so how many? We have the five divine confetti. Once again, it, this is more of just a punish when you can. 
sort of deal. And if you do perfect deflects on his on her uh, five whirlwind attack, uh, this fight goes really fast. Especially if you don't fumble it like I did with the snap seeds. <laughs> All right, so let's go and attempt number two. Attempt number two. Here we go. Open up with Divine Confetti if you don't have Snap Seeds. You get two free hits here. Goomba Stomp. Oh, I lost posture there. Too bad. I couldn't punish her. Right, you don't need to rush it. If you can't punish her, don't. There we go. Just time that properly. Goomba stomp when you can. Okay. Goomba Stomp. Okay, we could pull out here real quick. Divine Confetti again. Punish there. Hold block to regain your posture. The kitty counter when you can. Punish immediately. So you can run away from this attack, to be honest. So there's really no reason to be hit by this. Even though I get hit by it all the time. Mm. I mistimed that overhead. Kitty punish. So let's run away. Run over. Run away. So another technique we can use here is to swap out Roland Slash with a Floating Passage. This is why we grabbed this skill earlier as well. Another reason why we grabbed it. Because this skill does HP damage. There we go. Punish with Floating Passage. I always get nicked by that. Floating pa uh, divine confetti, and then our di divine pass uh, floating passage should do a lot more damage here. Oh, you don't need to rush like I did. Oh, <laughs> like I said, you don't need to rush, even though I'm rushing. Punish with All right Punish with floating passage And this should be it Oh, never mind, not yet
We could do this too. We could wait for this. Don't rush it. It's almost done. There we go. And that is your corrupted monk. <laughs> Just don't rush it. Attempt number two successful. Uh, we changed strategies mid-fight. So that's also a thing maybe we could pick up. Um, use all the tools at your disposal. If you know there is another tool that you can use, swap out to it. And again, in that fight, it wasn't perfect, but I used the terrain against the Corrupted Monk. The arena is wide, so you don't need to be face-to-face -face with her. You could run away. Anyway, that's the memory for the Corrupted Monk. Uh, the Corrupted Monk watched over the cave entrance deep in Mibu Village. So that is, uh, we acquired the Mibu Breathing Technique. All right, and that is another level up for us. Another one, lovely. Rest. Okay, and before we proceed on with this area, uh, we're gonna go do some swimming. We're gonna swim. Now, here's the thing. Uh, if you're doing this for the first time, and you ran out of resources, you ran out of, uh, you ran out of, uh, so now we can swim down here. You ran out of uh, divine confetti. You you ran out of uh, you ran out of uh, actually. Let's review the fight. Okay, hold on. So for the corrupted monk, uh, things you can use absolutely will help here. Uh, floating passage, very helpful as well. Does HP damage. Uh, in order to get higher uh, does HP damage with even in block even on block right so even if you don't have uh oh I guess my face is covering it hold on let me kill the camera real quick okay the floating passage does that HP damage on block and of course divine confetti even if you're out of divine confetti uh if as long as you have floating passage, which at this point in time, if, you, if you've been following the guide, you should have more than enough uh, carp scales to purchase floating passage from the pot seller in Hirata, uh, Hirata Estate. You should be able to succeed with the Corrupted Monk, provided you're just patient and you don't really rush the fight like we did earlier. And of course, if you have five snap seeds, it makes the fight significantly easier. If you compound all of these, uh, well, approaches together anyway let's go back out here there we go where is the thing the f what, what there you go okay let's get back to the game uh, we're gonna go back to the watery areas of the Mibu village so we're gonna swim a bit we're swimming, we're grabbing some goodies. There is another prayer bead. Uh, oh, carp. So that carp will respawn very soon, it's fine. There we go, that will give us a treasured carp scale. that's the purpose of that area then we're gonna go back into the lake and then grab more goodies underwater past this water wheel Pretty sure there's a headless here as well. We're not gonna fight the headless, it's a waste of time and effort. Oh red carp eyes. 
Can I heal here? Yeah, I can. Oh, there I go. There's a treasure box. And this is yet again another pair bead. Yes, this is uh, prayer bead number five. So we now have five prayer beads. And we're gonna go back to that idol from earlier. Then we're gonna explore the inside of the wedding cave. Then after this, we are headed to... I guess the gun fort now. No, Senpo Temple. We'll go to Senpo Temple first. Wait, I gotta cash out real quick. And this is prayer bead number five. The gunfort of Sunken Valley is commanded by the Snake Eyes, an elite force of women able to pierce distant targets with mighty flint cannons and phenomenal vision. Do I have Sabimaru already? I do have Sabimaru. Good. Also, I should be able to level up, right? I'm short three levels. So we'll go to the Senpo Temple, Senpo Temple first. So we'll grab this. Shelter Stone. We need that, and then that is it, I think. There's nothing else we need to do here. We'll come back to this area later, but... Um, now we're headed to the Senpo Temple. Uh, Gunfort into the Sunken Valley, Senpo Temple, I'm just trying to recall what path. Oh yeah, we just need to literally go to the left side of Ashina Castle. Let's check on this guy. What do you have to sell to me, dude? Nothing. Just pellets. Okay, give me your pellets. Okay. Let's head to the Senpo Temple. Once again, we go back to Ashina Castle because this is basically the center of the map. Everything is connected to Ashina Castle. And then if we ask this lady, lady, Mount Congo in Senpo Temple is this way. I can head here. Actually, oh, 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 I fucked up. 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 So now that we have uh, 20... Oh, sorry, five uh, prayer beads. That means we've had 20 out of the 40 available prayer beads. So we're halfway there. So we go through here. Avoid these guys because we don't need to deal with them. Run through here. So we're going to meet with Dojin on the way here. Back into the abandoned dungeon where Dojun is, actually. Like, we didn't need to take this path. We could have just come back in the uh, other... Um, in the other... Sculptor's Idol, but we want to grab this one. And then now that we have uh, the water breathing technique, we could actually explore the bottom of this uh, lake or this uh, expanse of water. And there's going to be a lot of uh, red-eyed carp here because they're li literally getting experimented on by Dojun.
Grab all these goodies. Oh yeah, and we have another um we have another memory that we could use to increase our attack power. I forgot about that. We're just going to be exploring the water here. There's a lot of goodies underneath uh, the water here. This is also the reason why we did Mibu Village first, so that we could grab all of these goodies underneath the water easily. We don't need to backtrack as well. Okay, nothing there. Okay, nothing. Just ch double checking if we're missing anything. I don't think we are. This guy's gonna be shooting at us. Floating passage, this guy. And we're going to be entering uh, Mount Congo. In the Senpo Temple. So we're going to be meeting with the Black Hat Badger again. He's going to give us a tip. We don't have the Puppeteer Ninjutsu right now. Which is something that we're going to need in order to do what he's going to be asking of us. I don't think we need to do it in this run because we're not going for full completion or the best ending. We just want the Immortal Severance ending for this walkthrough. Uh, we might pass through it. Okay, so TLDR, that spirit was telling us, run away, don't go here. The monks of Senpo Temple have lost their minds. They are now corrupted by promises of immortality. Right, we've used the corrupted monk's memory there. So we're back at zero, but right now we are five uh, beads ahead. So they're wishing for our health regardless. If we go here, we can talk to Kotaro. Okay, so we can send Kotaro later to Dojin to complete his mini quest. Um, kind of sucks that we have to do that, but uh, it is what it is. So me sending him to Dojin means he's gonna die, basically. Then the black hat should be somewhere around here. Where is that guy? Anyway, we're gonna have to use ninjutsu on that dude right there. Um, puppeteer ninjutsu. I don't recall where we get the puppeteer ninjutsu exactly. Uh, we might need to kill a certain boss or something. Right now we're two levels up. We want three levels uh, because we want to grab. Uh, we want. Oh, there he is. There's the black hat dude. Hey, buddy. So we're, we're gonna clear out all the monks here in Senpo Temple. Only because it gives us quite a bit of XP. This is another place where you want to farm uh, XP in Akko and uh, Onga Sugar. Because these guys give it for free. Uh. 
fucked up the execute there. Oh well. These monks are not sturdy, so we're, we're, we can afford b to be cavalier with fighting them. Oh, as they kill me, <laughs> I say that as they kill me. It's fine though. It's fine. We grab that. We hide in the bushes here again. Get as many executes as we can. That's another guy down. So as you can see, all of them are eating Akko sugar. Well, Ongo sugar. Some of them eat Akko. Okay, there we go. Execute for free. No, oh, okay. Don't kill me, guys, please. I'm only trying to kill you guys so I could get uh, level five. Okay, let's hide here. Try to get an execute on this guy. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Okay. Let's head up here. So there's a bunch of monks here that we need to fight. We can't really kill them. There's another prayer bead here. Okay, and then we have the... Oh, Gourd Seed. That's what we have here. Gourd Seed. Okay. And then there's the Tarot Troop here. Hey, buddy. There we go. He does big swings. Just punish accordingly. Okay, so that guy... Don't really want to assassinate him because we can't really kill him because... This monk is an immortal, so there's really no point trying to kill him here when we don't have, uh... The tools to kill immortals, not yet. I keep grabbing goodies here. She's gonna ask us for rice. We don't have rice. So here there's an opponent in front of us. So we want to kill this guy first. Oh wait, there's no one here. Oh okay, I'm uh probably in new game plus only. Never mind then. <laughs> uh, in new game plus, there's a lot more opponents here. Yeah, I guess in regular game, they don't 
uh, propagate as much. But um, this is a difficult fight because there's uh, a bunch of like elite soldiers around us, so it would behoove us to gatch in sugar here, be sneaky, get some executes uh, off. Okay, we're just killing off the stragglers here so that we're not interrupted. We gotta kill the elites though. There's one right there in front of us. Oh, he saw me. Never mind then. We alerted the other elites. We're kind of in trouble here now. Yeah, there we are. So what we'll do, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, get out of the way. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I died. Okay, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Alright, so I know we kind of killed a lot of monks on our way here. Hopefully I get an unseen aid. I did not get an unseen aid, unfortunate. Oh, but we don't get penalized as much as I thought we would be. That's nice. That's nice of them. So a quick way to run through this area is just run through the grassy area here. Run on the right side. Just keep running. No need to engage with them. They can literally run past all of these dudes. Even those guys that we tried to kill earlier. You can run past them and have them be unaware of a ninja passing through their ranks. And we're back here. You just jump over here. I don't want to fight them anymore. <laughs> They're a waste of time. And this is our next destination. Right, there's a bunch of uh, rats here. Some badgers. Uh, we need to have the axe here. Real quick. Uh, I guess. Get rid of this. The loaded axe. We need to be very careful here because one false step and we're dead. I say as I uh, fall to my death. Almost. Just 
just make sure that these rats don't kill us. Because I can fall to my death here. There's another one right here. There we go. And then we just climb here. Just climb. Make sure you wall jump properly. Uh, rather, let's jump properly. And then we're gonna fight one of the memeiest uh, boss fights in this game. We're gonna be fighting Robert's dad. But before we do that, we grab this pinwheel real quick. So this thing we give to Kotaro. Right? For every... For every uh, statue, I think, is a child sacrificed to uh, Senpo Temple. Right there, that big bell right there, that is the demon bell. We could go through there, through Ashina Castle, um, in the outskirts, right after the Tenzin Yamauchi fight, I believe. Uh, and you go past the headless and then you go through there and then that's where you find it now in this next fight this is more or less a deflection fight actually this is exactly a deflection fight you don't really kill this guy you just deflect properly so if you want to make your life easier get some gokan sugar and prepare yourself for the fight he's gonna come out there we go there we go You want him to... You want him to, uh... Be near the walls here. Because you're gonna execute him, pushing him against the wall. Force Mikiri counter when you can. There we go. Did we get him? Roberto! So as you can see, we didn't really kill him. He killed himself by having himself pushed off the wall here. And that's another prayer bead. And Breath of Nature Shadow. This is another uh, skill that helps us regain posture after an execution. So it's very nice. There we go. Scrap Magnetite. Pop this open. And now we're at... Uh, the temple grounds of Mount Sempo. Uh, there's nothing here. At this point, we want to put in... A shuriken. Because there's going to be a lot of dogs here. Lots of dogs in this area. Also, since we have the Mibu uh, breathing technique, there's a bunch of goodies underneath the well here, this waterfall here. Uh, lots of things that it, it can give us. So we jump in and swim. Actually, let's kill the carps first. Okay. And then we swim down. There is one goodie there. There's another prayer bead, so that's prayer bead number two. Yet again, another prayer bead here. Uh, for prayer bead number six. Holy chapter infested. This item is mandatory for one of the endings. Uh, I would even say the best ending, arguably the best ending. So we go up here. So we've acquired all, all of the goodies there. We can move forward in Senpo Temple. There's the dogs. Oh, they kill themselves. Okay, well, too bad, so sad.
Unfortunate. We could explore this area real quick. Grab all these goodies. Monkeys? Monkeys. Right. There's a lot of shurikenable opponents in this area. I almost missed the execute because this monkey. Persimmon. Heavy coin purse. So this is the opposite end of the bridge from earlier. We're just literally grabbing all of the goodies here. And then we can move on. Monkey. Persimmon. Uh, the Shrine Maiden of the Sempo Temple loves persimmons. So it's nice that they're giving us a lot here. We're not gonna do the quest, but still, if you are going to do the quest, make sure you grab as many persimmons as you can from these monkeys. Because she likes them. Where? Literally where? Where is this monkey or something? Oh well, whatever. Let's fight the monks here. There are some bomb monks here that shoot paper bombs. Like this guy. They hurt a lot, so you want to avoid it. There's gonna be a bunch of... Oh, hey, sorry, dude. I missed... Didn't see you. Didn't mean to ignore you. There's gonna be a bunch of... Uh, rats here. So we're gonna need the axe available. There they are. Hey, guys. What's up? These guys, these guys aren't so bad, as long as you have the axe. They're actually pretty adorable. Oh, he killed me. I didn't notice. <laughs> oh god. So much damage from these guys. their hats, you break their life. Oh my goodness, like let me hit you dude. That's another dead dude there. There we go. Easy peasy. As long as you deflect, pay attention to what you're doing. You don't really do much. That's the path right there. Uh, this guy has an item. We're gonna grab it. I'm not gonna fight you, sir. You're immortal. There's no point. There's nothing behind him. 
Okay, cool. Okay, bye. We could have used uh, the rooftops to get through here as well. Uh, but I wanted to take care of business right there. Okay, very quick uh, use of floating passage. There's more bomb dudes here as well. These centipede dudes. Wait, I need to. Get, there we go. There we go. We need to kill this guy. Okay, we need to kill long arm centipede Sen Un. Okay, yo, don't. I'm just clearing the area here because this fight is easier without all of these guys. But now we can fight him. This is just a deflection fight, basically. Not really difficult. Jump when he does that. He doesn't do thrusting attacks. And that was long arm centipede sent on. And that is yet again another prayer bead for us. And that should be... If I'm not mistaken, that should be all of the prayer beads here. Oh, who's shooting shit at me? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's double check. I'm gonna go check my notes real quick. See if that's all of the prayer beads in uh, Sempo Temple. Should be though. Yep, yeah, that is it. Just three. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's press on here. Okay, and we're one level away. Oh, there's another guy there. Let's kill him. And then we're one level away from getting uh, Ashina Cross. Okay. Let's get out of here. Whole pack of doggies. And after this, we'll be confronting another big memory. Ideally, we have uh, pacifying agents for this, to be honest, but probably have some, right? Let's follow the path here. We could ignore these guys. I don't really want to deal with them right now. Yeah. 
there's goodies here. Could be wrong though. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, let's go. Oh, there it is. Oh, just Ungo Sugar. Okay. Let's go up, 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 bye. And then we don't even need to fight any of these guys because it will just make our life miserable. Open this door quickly. Get to the sculpture's idol. Yo, yo you guys can fuck off real quick. Hold on. Oh. Let me rest. Reset the world. And we're gonna be facing another big enemy here. Um, but before that, let's grab some goodies. Dragon's Blood Droplet. Bundled, uh, bundled Jizo. We're gonna grab something here. It's a pellet, that's it. We're not fighting these guys, there's no point. We don't have the tool to kill them. And even if we did have the tool, it's not really worth killing them. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad fight. go all right we've grabbed all of the goodies we'll reset the map here great thing about these guys they don't really chase you they just sit there being all centipede like all right so for this next fight this is going to be the folding screen monkeys uh it's not really a fight it's more of a scripted fight but for the folding screen monkeys we are going to need gachin sugar Ooh. That's all we need, Gash and Sugar, and then uh, we'll try to execute it in one swift motion, but um, we may, if I screw it up, <laughs> we're going to be chasing around uh, these monkeys uh, for quite a bit, but they're not really deadly. It would behoove us to pop in... Uh, Pacifying powder as well. Pacifying agent. Only because they summon ter terror monkeys that can fuck us up if we're not careful. But uh, before we head over uh, to the folding screen monkeys, we're going to take a quick two minute break. I'm going to go to the washroom real quick. Come here,
we're back. We are back, folks. Okay. All right, let's press on. Um, folding screen monkeys, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so for the locations of these monkeys, Lucive Hall Bell, a five pronged bell made of aged bronze, can be used repeatedly when wrong monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape whether the bell is rung or not. Alright, so here we're going to use Gatchin Sugar. The last blank one is right behind us. So if we do this, that's one down. We'll just keep on running here. Oh, I missed. I messed up, I messed up. Oh, I messed up again. <laughs> All right, I guess we're not uh, we're not getting this. Okay, it should be here. That's. Oh wait, no, it ran away. Okay, alright. <laughs> uh, I want to call a reset, but I fucked up already. That's fine. So basically we just need to open up all of the prerequisites of all these rooms. We got one monkey down. We got three monkeys to go. It's fine. Get that catch and sugar again. day oh, there's one okay that's two down see one there I died. So not so well, so it's us. Mura sat men, Jin Hido. Dying shark. Me do me. Ah, Coco, a hot step. She got it. Oh. There is the terror monkeys. These guys can kill me. I 
If I can chase one of the monkeys here. But I think I already killed the monkey that can be chased there. So that's fine. We have one more monkey here. I ring this bell. Ah, he saw me. God damn it. Well, let's open the door here. They always loop back to the middle. There we go, got him. Okay, and then we need one more, and I think it's the monkey that gets, uh, flustered in here. Uh, let's hope that they're here. They're not, not yet. So we need to find them first and lure them here. Okay, fair enough. Where is it? Those are the terror monkeys. Back here, is he here? Nope. Let's ring the bell again. Mm, I died. Okay, we get so we only need to kill this last monkey here. Also, this platoon of monkeys, man. Okay, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Okay, okay, monkeys. Uh, I need Rowan Slash for this. Okay, there we go. All right, we need to find that last monkey. Dude. <laughs> I used the wrong skill. Anyway, last monkey, where are you? Let's ring the bell here again. Not here. Oh, there he is. 
I think. Oh, it's not him. Let's go to the water. If that monkey's not here... They're probably back at the, um... At the hidden one. Hey, G-Bell, how are ya? Yeah, it's been a while, how are ya, man? I'm doing good! I'm making a guide for Sekiro here. The amateur's guide! For a second, this is part two. How are you, G-Bell? How's life, my friend? Pretty cool, you started playing Duel Master. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! How's that been for you? Are you playing ranked often? Building some odd eyes to mess up in ranks. Ah, lovely. Trying to find the last monkey here. Oh, there it is. I see the monkey. Maybe we'll catch in here just to catch it. There we go, just slowly. Slowly. Don't rush it. There it is, there's that monkey. There we go, got him. Am I speedrunning it? Not really speedrunning. Like, I've tried to speedrun it before, but this is more of a just a general walkthrough for people who want to play it. Uh, if they're ever um, lost, or if they want to go through this relatively hard game uh, and find themselves uh, stuck, or if they just want a general guideline, you know? So this is for those people. But that is the five, the four folding screen monkeys. Just need to gatch in and catch them, to be honest. <laughs> There's a very quick way to do this, but I kind of messed it up at the beginning. Uh, you can catch them in a straight line. They're all in a straight line, all four monkeys. If you want to do it quickly. They're all just one behind you, then keep going straight. As long as you don't miss your attacks, you win immediately. But if you do, just visit every temple and then you'll eventually find them. But this is part two, G-Bell. Uh, we are now about to acquire the Mortal Blade. The Fushigiri. Memory folding screen monkeys. There we go, we get the Puppeteer Ninjutsu here. Ah, there we go.
And that is five? No, not yet five. Okay, fair enough. Need a bit more. We'll grab the Fushigiri from the Shrine Maiden here. Fushigiri So when he opened the mortal blade, it killed him. But since he's immortal himself, he comes back to life. There we go. We have the Fushigiri now. Uh, Mortal Blade, an Odachi capable of slaying the Undying. Its Crimson Blade will take the life of any who dares draw it. Without the powers of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon, which allows one to defeat even infested beings. Long concealed within Senpo Temple, the blade is inscribed with its true name, Gracious Gift of Tears. Also, let me just double check my notes here. Uh, there's one more thing we need to grab here. I'm pretty sure it's a Gourd Seed. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Just double checking once more. Let's see here in Senpo Temple. No, I guess not. Okay. Well. Hmm. I guess we don't miss. We didn't miss anything. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just paranoid that I missed something. So she's gonna be give us rice. So again, I'm not uh, reading out most of the uh, text here because uh, I want people who are gonna go through this game experience the story themselves. Okay. Right from here on out, we could exit here on the left side. Uh, we could just teleport out of here, but I do want to kill some of the immortals. Uh, so that we could get level 5. Then we can head to uh, the gun fort. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> They're fucking me up. Never mind. It's jokes. Those are just jokes. Okay, let's go here. Uh, there's a another bit we need to clear here in Senpo Temple. There we go. Five levels in.
and we can finally get uh, a final skill in the Ashina skill line, which in turn enables us to grab the the Mujin scroll once we visit the Serpent Temple. But there's one more thing we need to do here, real quick. Let's just go with, just go through it very quickly. We're just gonna run through this, blast through this area. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. We go through here. What dead monk is not here? Wait, what? I feel like I, I did a wrong turn here somewhere. Uh, we're we're trying to find the head monk. Where is he? Maybe I need to go to the water. Nope. the water let's go through here okay yeah, I think this is it There's the head monk. There's the head monk. This is the head monk. Um Okay, head monk. <laughs> What's up? Uh so I guess there's something here above us. It's the skill set for, um... It's the skill set for the, uh... The Sempo Strikes. Right, right. That's what we needed here. Senpo Esoteric Text. Those of the Senpo Temple mastered martial arts in the pursuit of virtue. They considered strong fists and strict discipline essential against Buddha's enemies. However, Senpo Temple was seized by an obsession for the undying, which corrupted their teachings and style. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna learn this, any of this, <laughs> for this run at least, we, we can, it's helpful, um, but if, uh, if we want all these skills, we're gonna be grinding for a bit, so I don't wanna do that, um, so we're not gonna do that, but we're gonna head into the dilapidated temple, uh, we should have a gourd seed in our possession right now that's not cashed out. Because I'm pretty sure I grabbed all of the Gourd Seeds, with the exception of two. Uh, and the only reason being is because we're not... Uh, we haven't visited, we haven't visited this, uh, the Gun Fort and the Sunken Temple just yet. I don't think there's any new prosthetic tools for us, right? No? Upgrades... Uh, we can get this. 
We can. And this is a matter of money. Improved Sabimaru, we can get that too. Okinaga's flame vent is very nice. So we should grab this as well. Uh, let's grab some money. Heavy coin purse. Is this 500 or 1,000? 500. Oh, there we go. Okay, give me the Okinaga's flame vent. There we go. All right. Then we'll head to uh, Kuro's room as well. And then we're, I think we have, we should have one gourd seed that we haven't cashed out with Emma. I feel like, cause yeah, my notes say that I've, I've grabbed everything. Yes, there we go. There we have uh, eight gourd seeds or uh, flasks now. Let's talk to Cora real quick. Okami's ancient text. So there's a lot of things we need to report to him right now. Okay. There's a lot of ninjas up here that I don't want to deal with. Anyway, uh, next on deck, we're headed to the gun fort into the sunken valley. Uh, we have roughly an hour to do this. Should be fine. We're headed to the old grave. And then we'll, we'll close it off after that, and then we should be good for the final chapter of this walkthrough tomorrow. So we're heading here. We'll meet with the Tengu of Ashina uh, across here. There's monkeys. I don't really need to deal with them right now. See, as you can see, there's a lot of internal affairs ninjas dead. And guess who killed them? It's this guy, right here. <laughs> Ministry rats. Yes, I have. Mushin esoteric text. So this is the reason why we needed to max out uh, the Ashina skill line quickly, even though we're not going to use all of it. Uh, unique text of the legendary Ashina Mushin compound style. Young Ishin would stop at nothing in his lust for power, and the single-minded search for strength ended him in taking Ashina for his own. This is the result of combining techniques from the styles he encountered. This drive defined Ishin's achievements, and such. This text will never be finished. <laughs> He's sick. I wonder who he is. He's sick. So we have the Mushin Arts. 
so having the Ashina Cross leveled up enables us to get the Empowered Mortal draw. It's great. We don't need it right now. Um, but we also need uh, to master the Prosthetic Arts, which is Living Force, which, their, which is our next target, Living Force. We need that ASAP. Because it's great. <laughs> It's a great skill, living force. One of the best skills. Alright, let's head to the gun fort. Where is the... Uh, what? Did I miss it? I missed it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna go visit a, sp a spot here real quick. Hold on, let's go up here. Run to the back. So this is not the path for progression, but we do need to visit this real quick. There is an item that we can grab here. And this is not necessary for uh, progression of the game. This is just something we need to visit real quick. This is Ash in the outskirts. And since we have, uh, uh, there you go. Actually, never mind. That was a prayer bead. <laughs> uh, that was uh, number four. There's a prayer bead right there. I forgot. That's why it was important. And then there's a headless here. We're not gonna fight the headless. Waste of time and effort and resources. But I think there is an item here. I'm just gonna visit it real quick. We're not gonna... There it is. There's the item. Hi, headless son. There we go. That's it. We're running out. Alright, that is, yet again, another, um... Another, uh, prayer bead. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought it was something important, but it wasn't, a, wasn't that important. Uh, we then it's a great thing that we went to it. <laughs> Sunken Valley, hold on. Oh, it, oh, that was the thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So I'm happy that we did that. Hold the phone. Let me check my notes real quick. So we got that, but there might be a gore. Oh, that's prayer bead number uh, six, I believe. Uh, just give me one second. Okay, yes, there is a gourd seed around this area. Right. We need to find a hut. There we go. That's that's the thing that I was worried about. Okay. So we get uh we got a prayer bead, we got the prayer bead. Now onto the path we have to go find um the gourd seed. It's in this area as well. Okay. 
Okay, that's one. I think it's right here. Yeah, oh, uh, there we go. I, I think this is it. There we go. We climb this area here. This is the other gourd seed, pretty sure. There we, there we go. Gourd seed. And that is our eighth gourd seed. Pretty sure that's our eighth. So we head back down here. And then we just follow the path as per usual. We see me here. Uh, dude, don't poison me. And then this shotgun dude is really difficult to deal with. We need a uh, floating passage here. He killed me. That's fine. There is a... There is an idol right behind us. Alright, and there is also a rat beside us saying, Do not underestimate the gun fort. Okay. So there is an issue here. Uh, I'm going to cash out that Gourd Seed quickly because, spoilers, once we go through this area, Ashina Castle will be inaccessible. So we're going to go here very quickly. And then just double checking my notes here. Uh, we should be missing only one more Gourd Seed and that would be in the final area. And as far as prayer beads are concerned, uh, we got one, we're getting a second one, third one. Uh, yes, and then there's the one that's a secret uh, tunnel. Got that, got that. And they were missing two more, but it has to be a return, uh, returning visit. Okay, yeah, we seem to be on track here. Wonderful. Okay. And I believe we also have a prayer bead we need to cash out, or did I already do that? Yes, okay, here we go. This is prayer bead number six. 
uh, a prayer bead necklace befits the strong. The centipedes will seek out a leader, often changing names out of loyalty. Centipede chiefs are known as long arms for their large talon-like weapons. That's our sixth prayer bead. So we need seven, eight, seven and eight. So we need eight more. Pretty sure it's only up to eight. There we go. And that is our ninth. We need just one more and then we're good on Gourd Seeds. Alright, we travel back to Mount Congo. No, not, not Mount Congo, Sunken Valley. Okay, next fight we have is Shira Fuji, I believe is her name, and she's very weak to poison, so we're gonna load up our uh, poison here, Sabi Maru. And that's all we need really, Sabi Maru, get it ready. Let me see if I could level up anything, nope, we're short on levels. Alright, jump in! Snake Eyes Shira Fuji is up next. She is a descendant of the Okami. Uh, residents of the Fountainhead Palace. There we go. She's very weak to poison. There we go, that's life number one. Then as soon as she stands up again, I'm gonna use this. There we go. No, oh, I'm dead here. I didn't have the little I didn't have the space to do anything. Jump, Goomba. Heal again. She's dead here. Oh, she got me. Damn. And that is Shira Fuji, very weak to Sabi Maru. And that is yet again another prayer bead. This is prayer bead number one of seven. Alright. Now we can do the smart thing and reset heal. Which we'll do actually. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Because like the Black Hat said, do not underestimate the gun fort. Alright, we'll heal here. And then we could just run amok in the gun fort. Go. Yeah, they hurt a lot actually. 
So when you're going through here, there's a spot you need to know where to block, or else you're gonna get fucked going through the bridge. So right here, at this point, block. There we go, then run. Avoid that. You can fall through that hole, by the way. There are ways to get, um, to recover from that hole. But it's easier to just jump above it. There's a hole in that bridge where you, you can fall off of. But let's go up here. Let's climb. We could do this, actually. There we go. Full kill. There we go. Get that guy out of the way. There's some items to the right side of us right now. We can grab it. Okay. That's just alerting them that we're here. Oh, okay. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with that guy. Because there's a guy shooting from behind us. And there's two guys waiting for us in ambush here, but there is... Uh... There is a sculpture's idol immediately to our left, which is here. And then we're gonna be fighting another mini boss here, another long arm centipede dude. But again, uh, all you need to do is block properly and you're good to go. Don't even need to prep here, to be honest. All you need to do is make sure you deflect properly. There's even a rhythm to what this guy does. Go once more. He's dead. One. I'll do it again. Obviously, for Feral's attacks, just jump. He doesn't have a thrust, it's always a jump. And that is it. Long arm centipede giraffe. And that is another prayer bead. That is seven of two. And there's another prayer bead here. Scrap Magnetite. Large fan. That's the Basho fan. That's yet again another Shinobi prosthetic tool. Uh, we're missing one more. We're going to be grabbing it at the end of this area. So there's another. There's another. Uh, prayer bead we have to grab here. Just need to not get lost. <laughs> but it's pretty linear. It's nothing complicated. You just need to pay attention. Oh. Or, you know, not... Like I said, just pay attention and not die. <laughs> okay, let's drink. You might want the shuriken here, though. Because there are a couple of bugs here that... Need shurikening. Seal gunpowder, grab that. Don't miss out on that. Turn left here, I believe. Hey, Neon. Okay, so from this juncture, look up. Heading here would be going back to the idol. So we go to the left side, grab that. And this should be it. No, that's not it. Uh, go here. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, I guess scra scratch what I said earlier. That's the path to the idol. So we 
We turn right this time. <laughs> we go to the right side. Right side this time, right side. It's very hard to just recall things from memory, okay? <laughs> Alright. I'm just chilling, doing some casuals with my favorite fighting game. Have fun with the guide. Oh, thank you. So we'll go up here. Okay, keep going up. Keep vertical. I think that's it. Yes, yeah, so this is your third prayer bead. Once again, go to the right side. And then there's gonna be some dudes here. And then... The lizard dudes, we just shuriken out. Where are they? Wait, no. Okay, one there. One there. Oh, there's one more of these dudes here. Okay. Grab this. And I guess we can just homeward idol. Still hitting us? There's one more there. Anyway, doesn't matter. All right, that's three of uh, three of set seven. So we just need five more, if I'm not mistaken. But at this point, we just keep on keeping on here. Open this up. So the gunfort key, we got that from Kuro earlier in the uh, library. So if you're ever missing it. Just go to Kuro and he will give it to you. Well, it's right beside him. Alright, there is no escaping that. You're gonna have to take that damage from the snake. Well, not damage from... Okay, get this. There's a lot of goodies here as well. There's Gatchin Sugar. Bulging Coin Purse. It's another Carp Scale. Another Carp Scale. And that should be it. There is another sculptures idol here. The Riven Cave. And then we're going to enter the Bot Botitsava Valley? Is that what it's called? Here we go. There's a bunch of monkeys here, and there's also a memorial mob below us. So we could explore that real quick. There we go. Alright, so... We're down here. There's the memorial mob. Uh, I guess he doesn't really sell anything. Well, he sells this, the poison gourd. We don't need it. I'm not gonna buy it. It's not important. <laughs> We'll do, we will buy a couple of pellets though. Uh, yellow gunpowder might be important. Okay. 
Snap seeds here. Oh, this is the secret temple. Right. Okay, alright. So, in order to kill the snake, we have to go through here. The white snake, but we're not gonna do that right now. So this here, that's just the body of the snake plowing through the ground. Uh, but we're not gonna do that right now. Actually, we'll do this. Okay, I'm... It's 1.37 a.m. right now. We could kill the last thing here. And then we can call it a night for part two. And then part three will consist of doing that. Going to the area. Clear, clear, clear. Um, yeah, I guess we could... Yeah, part three could be completed by tomorrow after this uh, one thing that we need to do here. So we'll do that. Um, and that should be everything. But I'll, I'll be right back. Hold on. Two minutes. There's three. Oh, hey, you could, hey, it's Ensel. What's up, man? Welcome to the chat. Are y'all, <coughs> excuse me, are y'all playing Limgum Lumgens? <laughs> uh, I'm at a crossroads here because uh, there is a couple of bosses I need to kill. I could kill, I have, I have, I could close up here uh, in about 10 minutes. I could kill two bosses and then uh, close it up for the night. Uh, but tomorrow's stream will be very chunky then, so I might start early for part three. Um, but that's not too bad. So I guess yeah, we'll just do the last two bosses here. Uh, that would be a good uh, cap because after the last two bosses that I'm gonna do, a certain part of the game will be locked off, and I need to clear that area. And then we should be good. So we'll do that instead. All right. So. Another major fight here. If I can actually get up here. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba. Where's the exit? What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, once again, we're back at the Voditsava Valley. Grab this. Give me this. Pacifying agent. So pacifying agents are very important. Um, particularly for this next fight. I mean, if I don't fuck it up, I don't really need it. But also, who's to say I'm not going to fuck it up, right? <laughs> don't, thr don't trust. Because I will probably fuck it up. There's monkey booze here. Oh, 
Hold on. We need Rollwind Slash for this, to be honest. Uh! Yo, bro. Okay, we killed a bunch of monkeys. Lots of monkeys were assassinated tonight. Monkey booze, we could give that to the sculptor. Or Emma. Whoever. Whoever we want to give it to. Alright, but... Um, oh, I want that, actually. go so the game is giving us pacifying agents it's actually being kind to us because here in the next fight it's uh an absolute terror of a fight uh pun intended okay So for this next fight, uh, it is one of the major fights. We are going to fight the Guardian Ape, uh, Voditsava Valley. Welcome to the Voditsava Valley, folks. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go run through this fight real quick. So this fight has two phases. This is the uh, Guardian Ape fight. One is the monkey fight. Weak to firecrackers. Heavy posture damage on firecrackers, heavy posture on firecrackers. And then there's the headless ape fight. Uh, sword mode and terror howl. So, terror howl, run away, run away as soon as you see him sway. And that avoids that sword mode. You basically parry to win. Uh, monkey mode, just firecrackers and just be safe in general. Not a very... Oh, wait. I didn't have this open. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Jar Guardian Ape fight. Monkey. There's the monkey phase and the headlet, headless ape phase. The first phase is weak to firecrackers. Heavy posture damage on firecrackers. Punish as you see fit. He will do big damage. Obviously, avoid sweep attacks. Uh, he will jump at you. He will throw poop at you. Just uh, react accordingly. All of his moves are very telegraphed. They're very slow. As long as you react accordingly and you pay attention, you should be able to win that fight very easily. So, um, we'll crack at it right now. Uh, so, as far as preparation is concerned, uh, he has terror. So we will need uh, pacifying agents we have here already. Uh, we also probably want to put in uh, rice. Honestly, no. Wait, you know what? Ceremonial Tanto. Let's do that. And then we could put rice later if we need to. And as far as uh, punishing is concerned, we want folding passage for this one. Okay. Um... Ceremonial Tanto to begin. Hell it up. Get your healing gourd ready. Oh. And spring loaded firecracker. And this is your guardian ape fight. Let's do it. There we go. Avoid that. Avoid that. Block. Block twice. You can firecracker here. And you can use floating passage for big damage. You 
can also run away if you want to heal. Floating passage punish. Jump. He's gonna fart here. Every time he does that uh, sitting motion, he's gonna fart. Avoid the poop. Uh, <laughs> or not. <laughs> like I did there. Heal. Run. Alright, let's do some posture damage to him using the firecrackers. He's gonna fart, right? No, he did it. Oh, there he is. He farted. Okay, he jumped into the poop. Don't do that. Firecracker. Firecracker makes this fight easy, to be honest. Well, this first phase at least. Jump. Arguably, his second phase is easier because he acts like a, a swordsman, which is people you've fought this whole time. You can firecracker here. You can block that, and then you can punish accordingly. Okay, he's gone wild. He's gone bananas. We can do this again. There we go. Pellet here. Jump! Oh. We missed. Oh, he got me. I should not be dead here, though. There we go. I still have a chance. Could do that. There we go. That's phase one. And then... Arguably the harder fight. Not really, but also yes. <laughs> so we have one Gord left. Uh, we might want to... Flame here, actually. So in this phase, Flame is a lot better. Let's see if we have oil. We do, we have five oil. Okay, great. Then we put Okinaga's flame vent here. See, that's this way. Run immediately once he does that. Because that is terror damage. You can start parrying here. Sweep attack, jump. Sweep attack, jump. There we go. This big parry this. Make sure to parry this. Fire attack. Right. Alternatively, you want to um, dodge into that attack. There we go. Just run around. Toss oil when you can. Wait for the big opening. Which is this. Flame. Oh! Terror! No, not terror! Pacifying agent immediately if you get caught. No, I got killed. I wasn't parrying properly. Anyway, we still have another chance here. Heal up. Now 
There you go. The big swings. Punish that each time. Don't get greedy. He's gonna shout here. Nope. But he could shout there. Oh, that was a jump. I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. He killed me. <laughs> but two tries, two tries. All right, let's go over the fight again. Once again, firecrackers, right? Sermo. Oh, there we go. Lovely. We got one. Uh, I don't have any more pellets. I think I do. I do have pellets. Oh, I, for I had rice. I forgot. Rice is an infinite resource because you could keep on asking that girl for rice. Anyway, pellet. And then we spring load firecracker here. We could rush this phase, the first phase, by just firecracking at him nonstop. Let's do that actually. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fart, run. He's gonna poop. Keep running. Jump. Firecracker here. Block that. Heal up. Firecracker when he's done that, when he does that, block this, big attack, and then punish. Oh. Heal up. Jump that. Firecracker. Firecracker. Oh, just keep on hitting him. Floating passage, never mind. We missed. Oh, I got... I jumped... <laughs> I jumped with him. I thought it was the other punish. Like this one. Firecracker here. This should be dead hit. Uh, block this, and then he should be dead here. There we go. Okay. Uh, very swiftly... Swap into the other strategy, get this out, get your ceremonial tanto, get this out, get your pellet in, get your oil ready, wait for him to revive. Oil him up, burn him. Not that. Burn him. Run. Oil him real quick. There we go. Block. Parry. Big parry. Flame attack. Run. Parry, parry, big parry, burn, burn again, run, he's doing the thing, we're in a very good uh, spot here, parry again, so what burn does is that it, it doesn't let your opponent uh, regain posture. There we go. So just let him do his thing. He's almost dead here. Jump. Parry. Parry again. Big parry. Fire. Punish. Four hits and then run away. He might do the scream. Parry. 
that was a quick one. He did a, a cheater one. Nope. You need to run away. Use the terrain to your advantage. Heal up. Oh my goodness. What is he doing? Alright, use that time to heal up. You can double heal here even. There we go, big punish here. One, two, three, four, one. Run. And we should win here at this point. Just a few more good parries, and that is it. Alright. And that is it. That is your Guardian 8. We're gonna pull the Centipede out here. Uh, another quick way of doing this is... Um, using your Mortal Blade. Honestly, that's a faster way to do this and more safe, uh, but you don't do it that way. Again, this is for if you're trying to struggle or if, if you're trying to learn to fight. So we got the Slender Finger. This is the last of the Shinobi prosthetic tools. And, ha and that was the Guardian Ape fight. Enhance attack power here. There we go. They say that infested body is the mark of the undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome for even an ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was in fact solicitation of sorts. So the guardian ape just wanted a companion. Okay, so the last fight we're gonna do here tonight, because at this point in time, Ashina Castle is off limits. Travel, as you can see, Ash in, oh wait, Ash in the castle, oh it's still, oh no, 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 I know how it becomes off limits, we grab this item here, once you grab this item here, it becomes off limits, the lotus of the palace, the flower's aroma attracts female apes, this garden ape carefully tended to it, so as to offer it to his bride, one of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for immortal severance, okay, so we didn't really severe, severe immortality from the garden ape, so we'll do that right now. Travel. Yeah, there we go. Uh, as you can see, Ash in the Castle is all blocked out. So we're at a point of no return here. Uh, we can continue this on tomorrow for uh, part three of this walkthrough. But uh, as a final uh, fight for tonight, uh, as well as gathering two more prayer beads, we are going to the... Mm. Poison pool. We're headed to the poison pool. So in the poison pool, if you remember, the guardian ape uh, is looking for a wife. We did not sever its mortality, immortality. So that guardian ape is gonna come back. And he is right here. Large ape. Okay, there we go. There he is. There's our buddy. Hey, buddy. Fight number two. Yep. Run. All right. Jump. There we go. And big Punisher. Run. So you can dodge in. 
when he does that big punish here one two three four five six run so this is the same fight so I didn't go through this fight because it's pretty much the same one but there's gonna be a surprise here gonna push us out there we go but we did massive damage to him oh run 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 that's his wife that's his girlfriend girlfriend ape so girlfriend ape goes down very quickly in regular game <laughs> new game plus not really so much uh, but we firecracker her here acts the same way as the first one we could kill her off very quickly with two firecrackers, and that's it for her, for his girlfriend. Run away, run away, and then we could go back to flame attacks. He's gonna jump, miss, big punish here. Thank you. Flame, flame burning. Run. Still have pacifying agents. There we go. Hit him once, twice. Run. Heal here. Oh, I I block. I fucked that up. I just run from this. To be honest, <laughs> block that though. There we go. Oh wait, I got hit. Damn. Unfortunate. That was free. Run. If you dodge in there, uh, you get a free hit. Multiple attacks. There we go, and this should be it. We're gonna pull out the centipede. We're gonna use the Fushigiri. Wait, not done, we're not done. Wait, hold on. That's two prayer beads. A loose prayer bead currently ha the wolf has four. Sorry, I have five because it gave us two. There we go. It gave us two. And we're gonna kill the centipede here with our Fushigiri. And that is immortality severed. And there should be a Buddha here. A sculptor idol, right? And we get the bestowal ninjutsu as well. And this is a prayer bead necklace number seven. I'm not mistaken. Enhanced attack power. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with a mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. Now even the flowers offered in tribute to her passing have withered to dust. Right, that's another uh, attack power increase. And then we could enhance our physical attributes here as well. This is pre 7th prayer necklace or 1 prayer necklace short plus we have 1 extra so you only need 3 more and we have maxed uh, prayer necklaces. An unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord. Dismissed after giving to drink, he fell to a life of bigandry. So he was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard. There we go. Alright, so we need 3 more. And I believe the last three can be found in Fountainhead Palace, uh, as well as the final Gourd Seed, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check my notes, actually. Yes, three in the Fountainhead Palace. And... The Gourd Seed is found in the Fountainhead Palace as well. Yep, and that would be all the major collectibles that we will need. Um, 
minus uh well we also have all the prosthetic tools as well but we didn't uh we didn't give it to the uh the sculptor just yet We could use this real quick. Then Shadow Rush is opened up. Oh, yeah, we need to um, fill up this as well because we want uh, we want Living Force here. I mean, we don't need Living Force, but you know, would be nice to have. This is Living Force right here. I'm pretty sure. So we'll focus on upgrading the prosthetic arts. Shinobi arts, nice, but at this point not necessary. We can have this, we can get this, but all of this is really good. Uh, MS Medicine, Mid-Air Prosthetic Tool, all of this is super nice to have. So we'll focus that in the next um, in the next chapter of our walkthrough, uh, which might be the last because I'm thinking through it in my mind um we're gonna do that one battle just going through the battles in my mind that one battle that one battle fountainhead palace clear halt that whole area and then pretty much two more battles like two to three more battles and um yeah two th two more battles and we get um we get to the final fight, uh, and that is it. Let me just double check here. Oh, there are nine. There are nine prayer necklaces. Oh, there's ten, actually. No, there's ten. We need a couple more. Oh, yeah, we need to go travel back in time. I forgot about that. Oh, it's gonna be a long. Oh, it's uh, it's gonna take a long while. So we're gonna have to stream early tomorrow. Get us some more uh, time. Probably gonna be a six-hour stream. Just two more hours extra, so it's, we could ensure that we clear out the whole, uh, the whole last bit and acquire all of this. Um, yeah, there's three more in Pound Palace. Which will give us the eighth, and then we need uh, eight more prayer necklaces. Right. We need more eight more prayer necklaces, which can be found. Some of it will be found in the second memory. Two of that there, and then two more. Um, Ah, yes. So there is quite a bit more uh, prayer beads we need to take care of. So we do have 10 more, 12, 12 more prayer beads to take care of, but we should be able to clear that out tomorrow, provided I add extra time. I don't want to do this uh, for a fourth stream. Uh, we might that, might that might be a bit too much. So we'll wrap up this whole walkthrough in part three. We might add a bit more time, but we should be good uh in three streams this is the second one but yeah that is it for tonight let's close up shop here um thank you so much for coming this time thanks so much for watching this walkthrough uh ken and akuma says hi I should put them here actually so you guys can see them um there we go <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for coming to Slam tonight. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. If you guys are watching uh, the live stream, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys watching here. Uh, and as well, folks watching on YouTube, thank you so much. If uh, you learn even a little bit or if this uh, walkthrough helps you a little bit in your own adventure in Sekiro, I'll be uh, incredibly happy and that I would have succeeded in my goal here. But that is it for me for tonight. Watch out for part three tomorrow. Hopefully we don't need a part four. I'm really hoping we don't need a part four. 
Um, so we'll try and stream early tomorrow, make sure that we get all of that done. But that is it for me tonight. I hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely day, whatever you guys catch this stream. Um, or this VOD. Uh, have a wonderful night. Thank you for coming, Slam. Don't forget your blazing. Limit out. Part 3 coming tomorrow!